As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God be with you. <clears throat> As we begin our prayer and our worship, let us pause for a moment to call to mind the great mercy and love of God. And asking for the forgiveness of God and for the prayers of one another, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may be turned to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. A certain man of the house of Levi married a Levite woman who conceived and bore a son. Seeing that he was a goodly child, she hid him for three months. When she, when she could hide him no longer, she took a papyrus basket, daubed it with bitumen and pitch, and put, putting the child in it, placed it among the reeds on the riverbank. His sister stationed herself at a distance to find out what would happen to him. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to bathe, while her maids walked along the riverbank. Noticing the basket among the reeds, she sent her handmaid to fetch it. On opening it, she looked, and lo, there was a baby boy crying. She was moved with pity for him and said, It is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call one of the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Yes, do so, she answered. So the maiden went and called the child's own mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, and I will repay you. The woman therefore took the child and nursed it. When the child grew, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, who adopted him as her son and called him Moses. For she said, I drew him out of the water. On one occasion, after Moses had grown up, when he visited his kinsmen and witnessed their forced labor, he saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, one of his own kinsmen. Looking about and seeing no one, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. 
The next day, he went out again, and now two Hebrews were fighting. So he asked the culprit, Why are you striking your fellow Hebrew? But the culprit replied, Who has appointed you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptians? Then Moses became afraid and thought, The affair must certainly be known. Pharaoh, too, heard of the affair and sought to put Moses to death. But Moses fled from him and stayed in the land of Midian. The word of the Lord. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am sunk in the abysmal swamp where there is no foothold. I have reached the watery depths. The flood overwhelms me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Teresa! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have long ago repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. As for you, Capernaum, you will be exalted to the heaven, you will go down down to the netherworld. But if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. We're going to be hearing about Moses for a long time now, so you better get used to it, you know. Appreciate all the stories about Moses. Which, uh, which brings me to, uh, to wonder what kind of uh, debate must have gone on when the, the Old Testament scriptures, uh, when the Hebrew scriptures were being uh, coming together and they were being edited and uh, put into form to be uh, passed down to us. Why did they include the part about Moses the murderer? It's one thing to tell the story of Moses and the bulrushes and Moses leading the people out of their captivity in Egypt into a new land, Uh, Moses uh, uh, delivering the Ten Commandments of God uh, to the people. Why couldn't you just leave this part out? Moses uh, wasn't pure and without sin without faults. And that's probably the the purpose of the story, is to remind us of how God uses those who are imperfect, works through even people's, our imperfections, to bring about good things. 
So as we uh, re reflect upon uh, this story of Moses, it's an opportunity for us to reflect upon our own lives and not use our imperfections as an excuse for not following uh, the direction of the Holy Spirit as that Spirit guides our lives. But rather remember that like Moses, God uses the imperfect to bring forth uh, good, to bring forth fulfillment of God's promises. Let us bring our prayers to God. There are many people in our world that are suffering turmoil or violence or uncertainty, like in Haiti and Afghanistan and other places in the world. So we pray for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who strive to bring peace among peoples. We pray. We continue to pray for the uh, recovery of uh, Pope Francis from his surgery. And uh, we're inspired by the work that he is doing even in the hospital where he is. We pray. We pray for all those who are sick those who are recovering from surgery, and for all those who care for them, we pray. We continue to hold in our prayer the people of Florida, where that condo building collapsed, especially those who continue to worry uh, about uh, loved ones that seem to be lost, we pray. Let us pause for a moment to, in silence, um, bring to mind those other prayers that lie upon our hearts. We pray for Carter Russell Sr. and for all we've uh, promised to pray for today, we pray. Holy and gracious God, hear our prayers and Use us as your instrument of peace and reconciliation. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created men and women, 
and when they were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed them through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise you, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. May our voices join with theirs as in humble praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord. You are the source of all holiness, and we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Join in our voices, we pray those words Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the coming of our of the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with those around us some sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having shared these gifts, O oh Lord, we pray that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of God be upon you, the blessing of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace of God.